let's discuss about the controllers and the controller is where you expose your api endpoints coming in this video hi everyone this is subrat and you are watching fun of heuristic so on this channel we'll make videos like this which is related to programming and web development so please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet in our previous video we, we have discussed about what is nest.js and how it's built for angular developer what are feature it has which we also have in angular and this video is just for controllers so we'll go and see what all we can do with the controllers what all functionality nest provided by default if we we'll go to our application here you can see that we have a app controller and this application we have created in our last video which is just a basic nest cli app so coming to the controller so in the controller we have a decorator called at the red controller and what it does it will register your controller to a nest app thus saying that these these are my classes which are my controllers and in this controller we can also give a path to a specific controller so suppose you have three controllers one is for car one is for employee one is for houses i'm just giving the name so suppose give this name as app so now your controller should be accessed by your base domain slash app then some methods on it so similarly if we'll go and check for our http verbs so first of all in http we have certain verbs those are get post put delete and patch patch we don't use that much but it's good to know but get put post delete it's used widely as you can see here we have a simple get method which means we are saying that all the get calls to our app should land here so similar to this i will create some method with other http verbs i have added some method which you can test for different http verbs so i have added add hello update and delete with respective http verbs so now if you go to the postman and this is a get call if i just hit send and it's saying that we are getting hello fun of heuristic which is just our get call and if and if you see i am hitting localhost 3000 because our application is running on localhost 3000 and app is my path here suppose if i just change this to app to apps and refresh now if i'll hit app we'll get cannot get app because we have changed these two apps if you don't have anything here that means this http verbs or or your this exposure will act as exposed for your this path or for your controller path similar to other verbs as well like if you go for post if i'll just hit send we'll get hello fun of heuristic and post similar to put if i'll got go put it will, we will get put similar to delete if we will get delete this is the basic you should know before starting something and before creating a controller now we're going to see how we're gonna get parameters and everything so when you have a post method you need a request body so a user will send you a data to add something and to access the request body you can do two ways one way is access the whole request and extract the body from there and do the other steps as well but there is other way nest by default provides at the red body attributes which you can pass to your method and your method automatically catches the body and i have just created an interface of hello which which has a name so we'll now try to access the name and in return instead of calling this what we'll do is we'll return name as hello dot name we can say that we are returning our hello itself now if we'll go to the postman and here we'll hit the post request but we need to pass the body and our request type should be json and here i'll just pass as this name as subras because that what we are expecting name and that should be a string so if i hit send and we got a response back from name as subrat i will modify this a bit now i'll go to the postman again and i just try to hit the application here we'll get hello subrat how are you now we'll see how we can pass with some parameters like suppose you want to pass apps slash 
name you can give a colon and name now this name you can access as a query param and i will pass the param name which is name and i will just give this as a name and it should be string now when we will access our app slash whichever string we provide it will access as a name and now if we we'll go to our postman i will go to get method and here after our app slash because our controller is apps whichever string i provide any value and if i hit send we'll get that back in the response because that's what we are getting as a params value similarly this param you can use everywhere for example in put you need both you need the param as well as request body so here you can say suppose you want to update the hello you need the hello id that you can do like this this is how you can pass both id as well as request body to update something usually you don't need a id in post but that's also possible similarly like params you can also access query params by at the rate queries and we can give for now i'm giving it any but you can define your own queries and you can use them and i'm just passing the query here and now if we'll go to our postman and here if you want to pass some query name equals to sum and try to hit here and you will get back that in the response this is how you can access query params body and request object so this is what the basic what you need to develop a controller or develop application but we have some default methods or default response from our nest controllers like suppose if you have a success response then your default status code is 200 for all other than post so post is 201 but if you want to override them, then you can use a decorator called HTTP code. So suppose, for example, in the post, I want to update my status code from 201 to 204. So what I will do, I will import this. I will use the HTTP code. I'll go to the postman. So whenever we'll hit the HTTP post, you can see here we are getting 204 no content because we have overridden our status code in case of success. Now suppose I want 203. If I'll go and hit from postman again, we'll see that we are saying we are getting the response and we are saying that 203. This is how you can play with which status code you want for a specific method if you have that requirement to send specific status code to specific path now we'll see if you want to redirect something then how you're gonna do that and for that we have a decorator called at direct redirect and which you can use like this so what i am doing here whenever we'll get a request to this method and if everything succeed then our response will go as a redirection request with this redirect url and to see that we'll go to our browser instead of postman we'll hit from our browser now if i just hit refresh you see it's redirected us to my channel and please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet so this is what a controller can do obviously the controller can do a lot more things like you can return an observable you can return and promises but that all we're going to see in our future videos so mostly the day that the things you're going to need while you develop a good application for your scenarios so i will just try to summarize again so we have a at the red controller which register our controllers in our application and we import this controller to our controllers array in our app module which you also have covered in our previous video and we have different decorator called get post put delete and similarly we can pass parameter wise to them or you can pass different name to the to that decorator so that that method can be accessed through that path and we can access our body with at the red body we can access our query params with at the red query we can access our url params please hit the like button if you like the video till now please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will not miss future videos please do share this video among your friends family colleague and let them know how they can expose controllers
we're going to meet in the next video till then stay happy bye bye